Nicole Lee, and welcome to my first ever episode of Dear JNL. It's where I interact with my fitness friends around the world by taking your questions, and there's nothing more than I enjoy more than empowering and motivating all of you. So make sure if you have a question for me, you can email us, and I'll be uh, ready to answer it next week. This will be a weekly series, so make sure you also subscribe and tell all of your other fitness friends about it. So. With that being said, I'm going to ask, I'm going to answer the first question that was asked to me. And we have here from Nick Novakovic. I hope I pronounced it right. Um, Hi Jennifer, is it possible to get a stomach tight if your hips and stomach have been stretched out or have stretch marks? That's a great question. Um, I really am an advocate for skin care, not just of the face, but your entire body, no skin. It's your largest organ. You have to really understand that so you take care of it more. And I was blessed to have two older sisters who, my older sister went through uh, pregnancy before I did. And she really gave me a lot of great tips. And also for my research and discovery, that the way you first of all don't get stretch marks is of course moisturizing. Lotion on the body, we've all heard about the cocoa butter, but also very importantly, hydrating the skin from the inside out. So for all of you out there listening who have not had babies yet or become a mom, make sure that you are hydrating and hydrating and hydrating your skin. So you're actually helping with the skin's elasticity by keeping it hydrated because as your belly grows or you gain weight, if your skin's dry and dehydrated from the inside out, you will get stretch marks. So with that being said, that's some preventive stuff. Now if you already have stretch marks, there are ways to help diminish the appearance of stretch marks. And um, number one, as you guys know, if uh, any of my Joel DeJana community members are out there or people have read my other previous books, I'm really into endermology. Endermology is a French uh, technology developed in France for people who had burns on their skin. And it was developed from when they didn't like the manual kneading of the skin to break away the the scar tissue, they actually created a machine to do it. Now here we are 2015, you can do a neurology to help reshape and strengthen the skin and diminish the appearance of stretch marks and also cellulite. You can also, um, you know, in today's age where everyone's doing a lot of cosmetic surgery, uh, lipo, liposuction, smart lipo, a lot of my clients I know have done that route and it's actually helped tighten the skin and diminish the appearance of stretch marks also. You can do body wraps, body wrapping. If you have stretch marks on your torso, um, the waist trimming helps a little bit. And again, there's some really great stretch mark creams and lotions on the market that um, a lot of people swear by. So make sure you research that as well. The great thing is, is that there is things that you can do to prevent it. Prevention is very important. But after you have them, I suggest doing your, you know, your creams, your waist trimming. Also, again, hydrating so you don't get any more. Water, water, water. Always be asking yourself, where is my water? And also hydrate. I love to do old school baby oil and maybe a little bit of a really skin tightening, a skin firming lotion together. When my skin is wet, right after I get out of the shower, I'll slather it on Maybe I'll do a light rinse and then I'll towel myself off. That number one is going to help you really prevent any more stretch marks. And there's nothing wrong with your stretch marks. I mean, we're women, we give birth. We, you know, we go up in size and down in size and are, are, are on the scale all the time. So, you know, love the skin that you're in. Enjoy falling back in love with the skin that you're in and do what you can. And you know what, if you have a stretch mark or two, it's not the end of the world. I mean, still love yourself. I have stretch marks. You know, I just hide them very well. So that's my um, answer for that question. Great question. All right, moving on to the next question. Here we go. Okay, this is from Joanna Gilbert Seymour. JNL, how many calories do you burn during your JNL 10 minute complete body workout DVD? Um, that's a great question. I want to say it depends. It depends on what fitness level you're at because with my workouts, I do a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, uh, choice. You can actually choose your fitness level when you work out with me. You can also choose the weights, you know, your heavier weights. 
Um, also, you have to look at how old you are, how long you've been working out, how high you're pushing yourself. And I think the real good way for you to see how many calories you are burning is to wear one of these really cool uh, wearable fitness devices that everyone is wearing now. Even my son's the Fitbit. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not promoting them, but I think it's a really cool way for you to actually wear something and it tracks how many calories you're burning. It doesn't even get as simple as that, as good as it gets. Put it on and um, it'll track how many calories you're burning during your workout. Either way, you get your heart rate up and you're in your fat burning zone, you're gonna get a good burn, you will burn calories. I just don't know how many. It depends also if you're fasted, fasted cardio, or if you, you know, had a big breakfast before, a big meal before your workout. So there's a lot of factors, I don't know. Quick is an easiest way, wearable tra fitness tracking device like Fitbit. Uh, try that out. Thank you, Joanne, for your question. All right, now we're going to Karen. Karen uh, Sobosinski, Ella, hmm, help. <laughs> Alash Mali, I hope I said it good enough. Okay, first of all, Karen, um, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not giving any doctor advice, but thank you for your great email. You said I've inspired you, motivated you, and I wanna say congratulations if, for you having four C-sections, not one, not two, not three, but four C-sections, and I think it says here that you have four boys, wow. Um, um, hats off to you, you know, I love stories like this. I mean, four C-sections, um, wow. So how can I help? Your question is, did, is this doctor that I got a consultation from about my overlapping belly skin, is he or she just trying to take me for a run and financially rape me and take my money and say, yes, you'll always have saggy skin hanging over your C-section unless you have surgery. Now. Again, I'm not a doctor. All I know is this, is that I've had a lot of clients and a lot of friends who've had C-sections and they did have a tummy tuck and the results came out great. And um, if you, even if you show, uh, watch the show Botched, you see a lot of women coming in with stomach problems and they're actually able to help smooth that out. Um, I have a lot of people that I know in my inner circle that have had uh, C-sections and um, they are women who never even had kids and had tummy tucks and they were happy with the results. So again, I, I always suggest once you go have a consultation with a plastic surgeon, they're working for you. So don't forget that, interview them. Interview at least four more doctors. You know, you just went to one, go to at least four more. See what they say, see what the consensus is. I always say get a second opinion. Um, so just go and see other doctors and have fun with it. See what they say, see if they have another solution for your problem with your stomach. But um, I hope that really helps. And, and pick them carefully. And don't rush into surgery just because you don't feel good about yourself. Remember, fitness and beauty is not a one-time event. It's a journey to be enjoyed. So enjoy the journey and um, make sure you email me back and let me know what happens. And I'm, and I'm rooting for you. And here are my thoughts and prayers. Okay. Here's Karina. Karina is a huge fitness nut and uh, she's Asking me, okay, menopause. Okay, so she's going through a little bit of menopause, and she looks at chicken, and her stomach swells. She can barely eat five or six meals a day. Um, would you mind sharing any fitness advice? I want my abs to look like yours again. It's a great question, and I also want to go back to non-invasive, healthy lifestyle. Solutions, again, I love endermology. It helps with the entire body. It drains the lymph system. Again, please see your your doctor. You know, I, I believe in anything that'll help you. We're not just one cookie cutter person. What works for me or works for someone else might not work for you and vice versa. So um, I have a lot of women that are going through menopause that are my friends and they're doing the hormones and then some opt not to. It just works with their body. So. Become that guinea pig again and try out different things. Try out maybe, see what your doctor says about the hormone replacement and also see if there's a natural, more of a natural solution for you. Um, I know there's a lot of great other thought leaders on menopause and what to do and what not to do. Uh, like Susan Summers, she's got a great book out. I, I suggest you researching her. And the thing is, is that you're not alone and if you can find a way just to balance your hormones so you can get up and have energy and go to your workouts and get rid of that pooch. Also healthy, healthy, healthy ways that you can also detox and, and de 
poof your your pouch down there. Um, pineapple water, just taking fresh chunks of pineapple, putting it in some water, blending it. Always drinking your lemon water for you to flush out your system. You know, get up all the artificial stuff, get your good night's rest, take your vitamins. And so I hope I motivated you in continuing the journey and finding the answers that, that you deserve to know. And again, there's not just one answer I can give you. So talk to your doctor, do the research, do what feels good for you. And plus, again, this is a phase. You know, maybe in a week or two, you'll feel better. and feel totally like nothing has been going on. So listen to your body. I'm a big advocate and believer in listening to your body because your body knows best and taking it one day at a time and also researching as much as you can. Great, great question. Okay, and I think that was the last question that we had from our readers. Oh, no, I got one more. Here we go. Tammy Toll Rose, you're such an inspiration of women. I was wondering if you have any tips for cellulite. I work out five days a week and running, walking with weights. I'm not overweight, but struggle with that horrible stuff on my legs and in. I'm 41 and it just seems not to go away. Cellulite, I love talking about cellulite. Again, I sound like a broken record, endermology. It cracks the fat, it flushes out all those toxins. Now, you have skin. Now, what's underneath the skin that makes it bubble up and look like an orange peel or, or your skin has got cottage cheese underneath it is toxins. How do you get rid of toxins? Well, you can't massage it away. You can't exercise it off. You have to literally drain it from your lymph system and drain it from underneath your skin, and that's endermology, LPG. Um, research it, I'm sure there's a place in your area that will do it. Also, detoxing. Elemis has a great, great uh, uh, supplement line, if you can see this. Elemis, this is the Silhouette Body Enhancement Capsules. This is part two of a three-part series. You start with the first pills, this is the second, and there's the third one, and they actually drain your body. You have a deep drainage, which gets rid and flushes out all the toxins, and this helps also reshape the skin, tightening it, and it really is gonna help you also have more energy, because your body is getting rid of all the toxins, and that is cellulite. I also believe in cellulite creams. Um, let me show you one of my other favorite ones here, and then this one too. Aha, talking about own this. So I'm showing you all the good stuff. You can get this at Amazon or any major um, spa that carries Elemis, but this is the Cellutox Active Body Oil. So what does this do? It's a cellulite and body cleansing oil, okay? Put that on at night and sleep with this on. On your stomach, your hips, your thighs, your outer thighs, your inner thighs. Combine it with the pills and your body will really reshape. This is what has really helped me keep my weight off and keep myself really feeling healthy and rested. Um, this is great. This is the Super Restorative Redefining Body Care. You can also use that. This is for your abdomen and waist, but you can also use this. It helps also icing on my hips, butt, and thighs for uh, the cellulite as well. All right, there you have it. Um, for the cellulite as well, if you want more information, you can go to joltthejanel.com. I talk about, there's a whole video uh, on it, which I really, really go into more depth of what I do to fight uh, cellulite and those little ugly dimples that creep up on us. So make sure you check that out. Again, I want to hear from you. Email us your questions, and um, I cannot wait to keep you guys motivated and helping you achieve your fitness goals. Until next time, I believe in you. Smile and be well. Thanks.